Hello and welcome to this lesson on the fine old Irish set dance tune, uh, The King of the Fairies. Um, this is in E Dorian mode. Now, if you look at the key signature and you see an F sharp and a C sharp, you'd be forgiven for thinking that you're in D major or it's relative minor, B minor. But in fact, it's in E Dorian, which is kind of E minor. Uh, with E Dorian, you have the C sharpened and the F sharpened, so that's why you have F and C in the key signature. It's a little bit confusing. Just think basically that you're in, in an E minor, but you don't have to worry about the Fs and the Cs. They're already pre-sharpened, if you like, in the key signature. And you do have the odd C natural, but mainly the Cs are sharp. Your main row is going to be the D row on this D G melodion. And so that row will have all the normal heads. Any notes found on the G row will have diamond heads. Uh, we're in 4-4, four, four, four beats for the bar. Now this tune is much favoured by fiddle players and they usually play it uh, pretty slowly. So I'm going to sort of follow suit. I'm not going to play it too fast. Uh, you can always speed it up afterwards and in any, in any case it's a lot easier to learn if I go through it slowly, isn't it? Uh, so, so fairly slow. Uh, you're going to want to close up your bellows before you start because an awful lot of the first part is on the pull. If you're playing lots of E minor chords, obviously they're on the pull. And so, therefore, you want to be pretty much closed up to start with so you can get all those lovely notes on the pull in those first few bars. Our first bar sounds like this. Now you can hear that kind of a rump, tumpty, tumpty, tumpty feel. And we get that by doing this crotchet quaver, but as a triplet. So if you look at beats two, three, and four. Crotchet quaver, crotchet quaver, crotchet quaver with a three on top in the brackets. So those... Crotchets and quavers are played as triplets. So you count them uh, for one, two, a three, a four. A. a lot of people don't write their music out like this. They write it out as straight quavers and then just, they just say swing the rhythm or shuffle the rhythm. Or some people write it as a dotted quaver, semi-quaver. But if you write it out like this, it actually plays exactly as it's written, which is good, isn't it? So in that first bar, uh, you are on the note E. I've got a fourth button start instrument, so E is on the fourth button down on the pull. If you've got a third button start instrument, it'll be on the third button down on the pull. I play the E twice. Go to the button below for the F sharp. So I've got pull, pull, push. Now if I play that same button and pull out, I've got the G. Return to the F sharp on the push. Return to the G on the pull. So you see... Um, three daggers there because you've got you can play those four notes with one press of the button but you don't have to if you prefer to replay the buttons then please do and then the last note of the bar is this note here where finger three falls naturally and the note is A now the left hand there is all E bass E minor chord Okay, on the beat. One, two, three, four. So this is very much a pull bar, but where you have notes on the push, make sure the bass is not ringing on. And it's a very obvious bit of timing, I think. Now the next bar goes like this. Now at the beginning of bar two, you can see that you've got a little grace note, that, that tiny note there. And if you look very carefully at the head of that note, you'll see it's got a diamond head, so you know that it's on the G right. It is in fact the note A, which on this melodion is button four, might be button three for you. We're pulling and we're doing this cross row. So first finger on the A, third finger uh, is going to be on the note B, and we have this. You kind of crush that A note in has no real value uh, and you crush it in just ahead of the B so finger one finger three and then you play the B again and you play the A note again this time on the G row on the push and then the button above on the pull gives you G and then you go down again for the A now if you look at the timing right the first beat like it was in the first bar is a crotchet just ignore the grace note you have one, two, uh, there's our famous crotchet quaver triplet. And then beat three is a crotchet, that G on the pull. Now, the fourth beat of the bar is a little bit confusing. Instead of a, a crotchet and a quaver, it's a crotchet rest in a quaver. 
but it amounts to the same and you end up with that a final A right at the end of the bar. Put the bass with that. Okay? A lot of the times with music, I always find it's easier just to listen to it and learn it. A lot of people learn in that way. They don't use any music at all. But I think it's handy to have the music written down so you can actually see what you're trying to play. Let's have a listen to those first two bars, shall we? Thank <laughs> you. 